Hi, I'm Trey Grayson. I'm the director of the Institute of Politics. Here at the IOP, our mission is to inspire students, particularly undergraduates, to pursue careers in politics, public service, and government. To that end, each summer we offer over 75 director's internships to Harvard undergraduates. These jobs are eight to 10 weeks in length, fully paid, substantive, and interesting. But don't just take my word for it. Listen to some of your peers who were director's interns last summer. My name is Andrew Sayo. I'm a sophomore at Quincy House. I'm Jeff Solnet. I'm a senior studying government and computer science in Mather House. My name is Emanuela Azabor. I'm a junior in Leverett House. Hi, my name is Ariella Rotenberg. I'm a junior in Lowell House, concentrating in social studies. And I was a director's intern for Senator Mary Landrieu. This summer I was a director's intern at Personal Democracy Forum in New York City. I was an editorial assistant for the website techpresident.com. The website covers on a daily basis issues in politics and technology. In the summer I was a director's intern for Google in their public sector labs. I worked on developing websites, building landing pages, working with local governments to establish new ways to use Google tools to solve public problems. I interned this past summer at the Global Fund to fight AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria in Geneva, Switzerland. I worked as part of the private sector team within the Global Fund, so I worked um, as part of a team of people whose goal it was to incentivize private sector interest in global health and development broadly, and the Global Fund in particular. I got to follow the chief of staff around, or follow the senator places, and listen in on conversations that she had with other policymakers. It was interesting to see the launch of Google Plus and how people in D.C., um, journalists, politicians, um, campaign managers, lobbyists, uh, were thinking about the product and thinking about how to use it. And to have the opportunity at a very early stage to have discussions about its use was, was uh, really special. One of the most exciting times is when I got the opportunity to sit in on a series of meetings with technical advisors and experts from the World Health Organization, from UNAIDS, and it was just a great opportunity to think that I could be so young and be sitting in on conversations with people working in such important kind of aspects of global health and development that I would like to see myself in, in the long-term future. A Senate internship can be a lot of things. Mine was incredibly special. I walked in my very first day, and I was given a desk in the office of the Chief of Staff. Janet Napolitano came in like my second day. She walked right through the office. Kind of did a little double take. What? <laughs> Who is that? My favorite time this summer at PDF was being written about in Politico. Ben Smith picked up one of my stories that I wrote for, for our website. And also the former Chief of Staff to Joe Biden responded to my piece on Twitter. So that's pretty cool. There's a lot of issues that can be solved and I realized that um, my academic experiences and my extracurricular experiences at Harvard have given me a really great tool set to use to solve them. This director's internship has been incredibly formative, but it wasn't until this summer that I really un understood that there are sort of many different avenues to be, to sort of do global health work in a public service capacity. And that's something that I had learned um, in the classroom, but this summer sort of showed me um, that to actually be true. Public service is important to me because it gives the people the chance to come together and really work for causes that we're all passionate about and that could make um, our lives better as a whole. I think that I'm incredibly lucky to have been born in the United States and I'm incredibly lucky to be attending Harvard and I was incredibly lucky to be a recipient of a director's internship and given all of those opportunities I don't see any other choice but for me to work on behalf of this country.